already, but um, uh, but yeah. Anyway, so we'll we'll just carry on and uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll probably go halfway through this map, maybe something like that. So first off, let's get ourselves some infantry, some AT, and I guess we get ourselves a flame warrior because we don't really use them a lot, do we? Now in the um, cam uh, random campaign generator, uh, I think I might do a series on that one day. Uh, basically, you can play as Korea and Japan, and trying to um, trying to get the best units out of Japan, the Japanese armory, because obviously you have like a set amount of points that you can actually get. To buy all your armory, so like artillery, uh, airstrikes, and all that kind of stuff. Really, really fun mod. Um, I'll probably will do a. I'll put. I'll, I'll post a link in the uh, description um, of the mod that I'm talking about. It's on Mod DB right now, and it's so fucking cool. It's an amazing mod, but uh, it is really hard. Really got on hard because sometimes you'll come across a part of the, your campaign because obviously it's randomly generated, so. It could be random each time, but there's one like there's one common mission that you always get, and that is to hold your um, your points from the enemy, and literally sometimes they they it could be small resistance, or it can be really really fucking heavy resistance, and that's like the worst part about it. But yeah, anyway, let's just carry on with this. Now we do get the Banzai Rush as well as our special, uh, as playing as Japanese. And with that, it's kind of like the Mother Russia Rush, but uh, for Mother Russia. But instead you get light vehicles as well, which is really cool. Um, we'll probably get that in this session, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, 80 inventory. Let's just bring these guys up just in case. Flamethrower units. Uh, we'll post you there. Get a bunch of infantry there. Okay, good. Taking it over. Going from the east, god damn it. So we gotta hold these bastards off. Not expecting that, were they? Okay, so I was, well, it's going over here. Yeah, it's going okay. Yeah, that squad just got completely wrecked. Holy shit! Uh, so yeah, the SNLF. Um, now, someone told me that you can actually click on them and actually get a uh, description of these guys. I forgot how you do it though. Um. Oh yeah, here's uh, some armor. Okay, yeah, we will get some armor then. Fuck it. We have enough points to spend. We just gotta be careful. Um, any more units coming across? Ah, we got a jeep. Something that we didn't use in the um, Japanese campaign, sadly. Um, in the uh, well, in the Russian campaign, you don't actually get to use these, which is actually kind of sad because I actually like uh, those kind of jeeps. But, oh wow. Now, they're basically like the uh, German scout cars. You can easily take them out. Uh, they're really fucking weak, but they can do some heavy damage if they do get a bullseye on your uh, men. So, yeah, they can be quite troublesome at times, especially when there's two of them. Uh... Okay. 
There's movie guys back there. There we go. Now, what I do like about these, uh, this, well, obviously we were fighting against these in the Russian campaign. In Type 92, they're actually very useful. Obviously, they have two guns, one at the front and one turret, which one uh, goes around. Uh, they all use uh, MG bullets, so they're not. I mean, basically, it's just an MG, an MG infantry, a heavy MG equipped infantry inside a car, pretty much. That's what it is. Have two units over there. Tell you what, we'll flank these guys. Bring our flamethrower units over here. It's quite hard to actually um, get your flamethrower units to survive because obviously the guy who's holding the propane tank and all that kind of stuff can easily die because if the fucking propane tank it happens in this game if a propane tank gets shot obviously it explodes which is kind of scary they're good for uh, up close and personal combat though Still trying to shoot that unit. Fucking hell. Just chuck a fucking grenade over there. Ah, uh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, he just knocks himself out. God damn it. Okay, so. Oh shit. No, don't die. Oh boy, right. Oh, well, he died. Oh well. Oh, fucking hell, this is gonna be a mess, I can tell you that right now. Uh. Fuck it, the stack unit's up there. Get him to get on that MG, you get on that MG. We got a tank, brilliant. Okay then. Go, 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 go. This is when it gets really messy. Um, yeah, get a chiha. Get it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Now those AT grenades are fucking brilliant. Um, they're basically just like balls, pretty much, with I think gunpowder maybe. Really fucking powerful. Really got them good as well. Okay, so we've pretty much stormed that area, pretty damn well. Now we gotta save our units because we have no points whatsoever. But what we will do though is get a unit on that goddamn MG. There we go. 
so like goddamn. Oh boy. We've got loads of 80 there. Bollocks. Pull off, pull off, pull off. Fuck it, just stay there then. Is the medic still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Good, good. Okay, right. Um, bit of a pickle. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, let's drag these units up here. Let's get these units in the cover. Pretty even right now, to be fair. Because most of the AT we have, because we have three dotted AT right here one there, one there, and one there. All of them can do pretty powerful fucking shit to our tanks if we're not careful. So, I believe the best thing to do is to try and flank around here then just take down these AT but eesh, I'm not quite sure to be fair okay let's try and flank around Oh boy, there's gonna be okay. Yeah, fucking get more out here. Shit. Forgot we had mores. Any vehicles coming in? No, not at all. Now the base isn't really a base. Just got a trench with some AT. Now, yeah, well, yeah, we do have some major artillery guns. Okay then. So that's gonna be quite painful. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Screw it. Take it over. We're going to need the points.